Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It's OKC CFA CFE on Twitter. And today I wanted to talk about a question that I've been getting asked fairly uh, frequently here over the last few months, and that is what is payment for order flow and how does it affect uh, my orders? So payment for order flow is a payment made by a market maker to a broker in exchange for routing the client's orders through that market maker. So let me give you an example. If you place a trade through, let's say, a discount broker like a Schwab or a Robinhood or TD Ameritrade or Fidelity, all of these are discount brokers. As you send that order off, let's say buy 100 shares of Amazon, Schwab or Fidelity or TD, let's say you're at Schwab, can route that order to a number of different exchanges and market makers. Some of those exchanges are public, like New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, ICE, BATS in Kansas City, you can route orders to a number of different places. They all have slightly different prices. Hedge funds have largely eliminated a lot of the difference in pricing because they can just buy and sell on different exchanges at an identical time. So if your broker, like let's say Robinhood, says okay to a hedge fund like Citadel, we'll route our orders through you and you can go and execute those orders, Citadel can see that order flow before it gets put to the market. If they see where the order flow is going, they can then trade against that order flow and make profits. So that's really where the conflict of interest comes in when you're talking about payment for order flow, is if you are routing through a third party that is now paying for that information, they can trade against the general retail order flow and make profits as they see and model different buys and sells being made and see them before the trades are executed. So that's where there's a conflict of interest. That's why it's an important topic. A fiduciary advisor like Accenture Wealth Advisors uses a number of different custodians, Schwab, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, etc., that all we require them have a best interest standard, just like we have fiduciary best interest standard for our clients. We expect when we route an order through a broker for them to try to get us the best available price for our client and get price improvement. That doesn't always happen with all brokers. Some, you know, they can do whatever they want really with your order flow unless you direct, hey, I want it going to a specific exchange, they can get compensated and potentially create a conflict of interest. So really when we're talking about payment of order flow, we're talking about scraping lots of pennies off of lots of different clients and transferring those profits. And since you're not paying brokers anymore, right, commission-free trading, you know, certainly Robinhood led that, you're seeing it become more and more of an issue. Okay, why are these payments being made to these hedge funds? Well, it's because they can trade off this information and that's how the broker stay in business with a zero commission model. That's payment for order flow explained. Again, it's a practice in the industry. I don't think it's going away anytime soon unless it gets regulated out. Um, certainly it makes trading very profitable for certain hedge funds, certainly high frequency traders. If you want some really detailed analysis, the book Flash Boys is a good place to start. For additional information on market technicals on a go-forward basis, feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's OKC, CFA, CFP. Until then, I am out.